it's finally that time again. I get to go out and camp because it's been too bloody long since I've got to meet. I did a bit of a cheeky camp with Ant and stuff the other month when I got the tattoo done. But uh, yeah, getting out for the weekend. Some peace and quiet away from the twins and the missus. But uh, as usual, Mr. Yorkshire Wanderer hiding over there. <laughs> and we're at Silsden again, so yeah. See if I can get a long video this time. So it's been a while since I've caught a lot of stuff there and because I'm not looking after tears and get to chill out and hopefully get some good footage. Oh, I think I'm gonna bribe Ben into going for a pint on the way. Bribe? Yeah. <laughs> Don't need doing. Don't need doing. And we're gonna go and uh, piss in a milk urn again, I think. Piss in a milk urn! Because we're pops like that. But yeah, I'll... Uh... So, this is home for the weekend. Just getting set up for the communal area over there. Got Ben in there. And underneath here. And uh, you can see I've bodged a new wonder quilt. I got a sleeping bag from Paul Prep Nomad. And then I've been doing logo designs for people for their YouTube stuff. And I've like traded, I've got some shot cord and got some little bobbles and stuff and just doing trade up. So what I've done is I've tied on some little tabs lot and then used the toggles to stop it slipping so it, that's done it because it's a square sleeping bag so on the the width there I've put some tabs on so it'll all cinch up look and and then uh, tabs along the top there to hold it up and then again cinches up on this end so I'm hoping it's all right I mean it's uh seems to be all right just laying in it we'll see what it's like tonight but as usual in my uh See the wheel on it, and I'm giving the uh, the Arctic bag another run out because I've been using the snug pack thing I got from Mac for ages, and I just want to compare and see what the the uh, Arctic bag's like, and then maybe move it on because the snug pack does the job. So yeah, homemade whoopies. I've got a video showing you how to make them without any tools if you uh, get interested and have some am steel yourself. Camera doesn't want to focus. Lovely. Anywho, we're. Uh, hold that. I've had my flipping finger over the uh, microphone. I hope that this comes out. But yeah, I'm going to sit and chill. Just had some dinner. And just going to relax. Enjoy the peace and quiet. going now and you can tell the lights dropping a little bit looks okay up there but definitely going down a bit he's been speaking to uh, Rob Gilchrist and he's uh, he's brought his drone with him oh, he's flying that around a little bit and uh, nifty pieces of kit but what they cost it's just, it's just money sink not for me I sit here kind of wife beater on the fire can't go wrong That's the end of uh, Friday night. Sat around the fire with uh, a few people. Nice chill out. A couple of beers, some food. It's uh, Rob Gilchrist's birthday, so happy birthday, Rob. There's a full bottle of uh, whiskey gone round, and it's not as many people as I thought there'd be actually. But it's, uh, it's been a nice chilled out night. You can hear the rain's just started. It's not not being forecast for rain. And yeah, it's nice chilled out night. And I'm in bed now. In my hammock. Just gonna chill out. Ben's fast asleep snoring his ass off. Lazy shit. But yeah, you can probably just about see over there the uh maybe you can fire. Maybe not. The camera won't pick it up. Ah well, I will see you guys in the morning. There's meant to be some uh, flip.
flint napping going on and God knows what else. I think a couple of people have got air rifles and a crossbow and stuff, so we'll see what happens. Yeah. Catch you. Uh, so, I've tried flint and steel before and failed miserably. So, I've been uh, practicing a little bit and I'm hoping I can get this charcoal flint. So, I'm going to give it a go on camera. So, how do I select And it's going to take ages, of course, because you're recording. So we look, we're looking for the shape of an arrow. Can I give I did just do it a minute ago, but of course, like you say, you put the camera out and... <laughs> I'm getting the sparks, just not look. Oh, there we go. Took a while, but eventually, that's a charcoal flit, so I have to transfer that to a Tinder bundle or something. But put that out. I did it. I'm doing a bit of flint napping. Everybody's brought a lot of flint in, so uh, breaking it down into shards and then know where people are going to go from there. Yeah, that's the hazard of flint napping. And one on the other side as well. <laughs> I think it's blood from the same one. Yeah. No, I mean on your palm as well. Oh no, that was a bramble this morning. Oh, was it? Oh, I thought you'd done that. So yeah, it's sharp. <laughs> yeah. serrations and stuff on the on the side and then uh, what have you got a piece of hazel or I'm not sure what it is it's, it's bent as a nine bob no but I'm trying to fashion it are you going to use uh, get some pitch and stuff to put on it probably not bother nettle cordage and just having a plate Let's see how the theory is a nice piece of salmon on the go it's uh Coriander and chili flake. <laughs> that wasn't fire that came shooting out though.
Moment. Carrick. I think loads of them. Right. Hippies would have a party on here. Absolutely loads of them. Are you picking them? There's absolutely loads. I would say if you're going to take any, take them off the green. Yeah. They're the ones that are most likely to get chewed up with any mowers or stray golfers or whatever. There's definitely been some golfers up here this morning. I can see their footprints in the June grass. Golfers can still come and play? They must do. Yeah. Cut myself up a nice uh, ribeye steak with some blue cheese. It's freaking amazing. Have you ever seen them both in the same room at the same time? That's Saturday over and done with. Been an awful lot going on today. I'm absolutely knackered, so I'm having an early ish night in bed, and it's probably about know, quarter past ten or so. Uh, absolutely buggered. Been for a walk, seeing the magic mushrooms, well, not magic mushrooms, but you know what I mean. The hallucinogenic mushrooms. We've done flint napping and archery and shot a crossbow. So much going on. I know a few of you have been wanting to get to these meets, and it always falls on the weekend you're out at other meets, so you have to try and get here if you can. Those of you know you're on, you know I'm on about. You're more than welcome, obviously. Everybody's really welcome in here. I had a really good night, it's been good to get away. I said peace and quiet from the girls and the missus. Well needed. I let my hair down a little bit last night. A lot more sensible today. Uh, I think I've had a can and a tiny little bit of wine, so nothing to drink really. I uh, had a lovely steak with blue cheese earlier. I had my salmon. Felt a bit like a king this time. And uh, I'm blaming that on Carlisle because. I'm sick of watching these videos and getting hungry, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to I'm gonna, uh, have some nice scram this time. So, cheers for the ideas, big ears. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if there's going to be anything going on tomorrow morning, so this could be the end of the video. I hope not, but we shall see. Not for now, I'm going to bed. See you later. Lovely in the morning in this place. Absolutely lovely. Bit overcast, but meh. All the uh, everything's packed up. We're just about to set off home now, so that's the end of this video, and I will catch you in a bit.